Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about the deck I'm going to bring to FNM. I'm extremely excited to play this deck. This deck is actually kind of like a combo aggro deck, and I'll explain it a little later. Uh, you have mountains. You got two mountains here. I guess I'll move the cards to the side. Goblin tokens, of course. Points if you know what anime that's from. So goblin tokens I'll put to the side. Anyway, you have 18 total lands. You have eight fetch lands and 12 mountains. The fetch lands are really to help you filter. If you notice the mono red decks in modern, a lot of them have fetch lands and that's not like a random mistake somebody made. That's because it actually helps you a tiny, tiny bit when life doesn't matter as much. Wild Slash, a playset of Monastery. Uh, obviously, Monastery is the one card you want to begin with, but this card is not bad. I've been play testing this card, and it's my new favorite card. It is amazing. Uh, even late game, because it has the dash ability, does a ton of damage. Lightning Strike, that's pretty... Dragon Fodder, that's the big main difference between this deck, um, making this deck playable as a token version, and... Battle Rage, I'll explain the Battle Rage a little later. Uh, Humble Defector. We got a playset of Battle Rages. And this card, Trumpet Blast. Trumpet Blast, this card deck plays like a combo deck. Turn 4, you have so many ways to kill your opponent. And making more tokens, of course. And Rabble Master. Rabble Master actually is not the best card on... I mean, I would much rather have Hordling Outburst and Rabble Master. And Stoke the Flames. I'll show you a few cool, neat little tricks. The deck should catch people by surprise in the first FNM. Citadel, this card is so good, but only out the side. Roast, Harness to Force. Uh, no reason you should not play this over Act of Treason. And Act of Treason is seen play. Bloods, Phoenixes, Dragons, Sawcons, and Volley. Volley would be, I don't know what the meta is like right now. But here, I'll show you some pretty cool combos. So turn one, you can do uh, you know one of these cards. Turn two, let's say you grab a fodder, you get two one one creatures, and you trigger it and deal two damage. So they're at eighteen, and I'm assuming they do not play fetch lands, although most people will be playing fetch lands right now. So they're at eighteen. Let's say the next turn you play a. I mean at this point you can even trumpet blast, but you can play. A a burst and outburst. You grab some more tokens. So now you have five, and you attack for two again. You maybe you attack for two more. Maybe you keep them on defense. It doesn't really matter. Then you trumpet blast, and that's a ton. That is a ton of damage on a trumpet blast. A trumpet blast, and then maybe you wild slash something, get rid of it out of the way. Pump this guy to a five, and then you're doing a massive amount of damage. But even if it doesn't play this way. You're still okay. The This is definitely the card you want to play. I mean, there's no... This card is okay. I mean, the card is okay in the fact that you can just attack with it. You can play it, and then you can attack with it. You can pump it, you can attack with it, you can pump it, you can attack with it. It's not a bad card, but even in your worst case scenario, Fodder and Rabble Master. Rabble Master is not the best card in this deck, actually. And then you attack again. The Rabble Master gets extremely big, and when you get the Rabble Master big, you can use a Double Strike Trample ability. So all he needs is two tokens to attack, and he has four power. Four power means he gets Double Strike and Trample. Essentially, this, when an opponent is blocking, they really want to kill the Rabble Master, and he only has two toughness. Uh, you will remove a creature and still do a massive amount of damage. This combo is very good. That being said, this combo is very good when you catch an opponent by surprise. And let's say you pump them to become a 4-1, you attack, they're, of course they're going to block this guy. This guy's a 4-1, then, oops, double strike and trample. Pretty good. Pretty good. Um, also, lightning strike, I mean, even, you know, turn 1, attack you for 1, turn 2, attack you for 5. They're down to 14. Next turn, you play your Rabble Master. 
very difficult for them to beat you with this deck unless they have like token hate which would kind of suck but i'm assuming no one's playing token hate right now uh trumpet blast very good battle rage i've always wanted to play with battle rage it just seems like such a fun card now the defectors are actually two ones but they can get you the burn spells you need essentially you all you have to do is deal anywhere between 12 to 16 points of damage and you can burn them out so Rabble Master's good, you got your Flames, you got your Lightning Strikes, you got your Wild Slashes, and then you can always bring out different cards in the sideboard. So I'll talk a little bit about the sideboard. Sometimes you have to go big. Um, Harness is such a good card. I don't know if I want to main deck it, but it's so good when you just steal the Corsair Crufix. You maybe get another land, maybe you miss, but essentially you're attacking with your whole team for lethal because <laughs> that they never course a crew fix ask cloud phoenix is not a bad card i just four is a lot i mean stoke the flames is never casted for four it's just not um and then the big dragons i don't know i have to get rid of these dragons i just kind of have them as filler overall the deck is amazingly combo tastic and it's been very good to me i love playing this type of deck and the fact that it just gets it Honestly, I like I'm going to do some trading and this deck is perfect for trading because you're going to finish your games within turn four By turn six you either are now going to slowly lose your game or You've already won and this is exactly one of the most fun decks. I've ever played Fantastic that this can be a deck and it's a deck because of um Dragon fodder and then the lightning striker because you need more one drops that are decent and have haste and you need more tokens and that's exactly what Dragons of Tarkir made for this deck. Um, tokens and one drops.